Hi everybody, Dixon back. Well, here we are. My worst nightmares came true. Um, not the pandemic so much, but being in a crisis while being led under Trump. I'm seriously scared, folks. I'm, I'm number one. I'm scared about the virus. I don't want it to die. I don't want my other. I don't want my friends, my family. I don't want anybody to die from this virus. But what truly scares me more than the virus is Trump trying to lead us during the worst world crisis since World War II and the worst global economy since the Great Depression. It's really seriously scary times. And to think that we're being led by a monster who proclaims to have absolute power without any legal authority whatsoever, uh, a narcissist, a racist, a xenophobe, a man who operates his whole entire career out of lies and hate and optics. He has never ever operated with integrity or humanity. He has always put his optics before anything of decency or compassion or empathy or kindness or genuineness. He's literally a monster. He's a malignant narcissist. And the only reason he's in office is because white America was desperate, so desperate that they would put a man who cheated on his wife with a porn star, two different porn stars, who's been accused of rape and a sexual assault by 24 different women. They were so desperate to have a white supremacist in office after our first black president that they would put this monster in place. And now white America has to suffer. All of us have to suffer because my worst nightmare has came true. Now we are in a crisis, a crisis of horrible proportions, not just the virus itself, but the response to the virus has created mass poverty poverty on the whole entire planet. There, even in America, we've got two, three, four, five thousand cars lined up at food banks right now. There are people that don't know where their next meal is coming from. There are homeless people right now dying in the streets, just being walked over. There are crazy things are happening in our country right now. And we are being led by this monster. So I just have to say once again, thank you, white America, for fucking all of us. You, because of your white supremacy, put this goddamn creature in office. And he is getting people killed. January 11th, China said there's an outbreak. This political creature said it's a fucking political hoax. That was his response. Rather than thinking in terms of humanity, he thought in terms of his own self-interest and called it a political hoax from the left, from the Democrats. For 60 days, the man downplayed the epidemic. It wasn't in, from January 11th to March 13th. Then he began to publicly say, this is a crisis. This is a dangerous virus and we have to take action. For 60 days, that man downplayed this virus. And people listened to the fucking leader of the United States. And so people went out, they socialized, they got together, and the virus was spreading. And now, We've, we're number one right now. We lead the whole entire planet, our nation, in cases and deaths. We're on our way to 25,000 deaths right now. We're, 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 I think we're at it's what, close to 600,000 cases in America. We're number one, folks. We are winning. Thank you, White America, for giving us all this fucking amazing gift. If Trump had have said this is dangerous from the very beginning. If Trump had have said, let's be careful from the very beginning. If Trump had have said, if he had have took more action from the very beginning, instead of playing his optics, instead of worried about his optics, instead of playing his fucking political games, instead of only seeing me, 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 we wouldn't be in this fucking mess. So here we are, white America. Thank you once again. And now Trump has proclaimed that he has total and absolute authority to open up the country and close the country as he sees fit. The man is stupid. The man is ignorant. And the man is blind. Again, there's, that's not constitutional. The governors have the right to control their own goddamn states as far as how they operate. When the, um, when the scientists say publicly that we should have done more from the beginning, Trump threatens to fire them. When the journalists call him out for his lies 
and his misleading announcements and, and talks. And the journalists call him out and say, hey, that's not true. That's a false claim. He calls them fake. Fake journalists, fake news. If Trump had his way, we would not have a free press. The man is a true tyrant at heart. If he had his way, we would not be living in America. We'd be living in Trumpistan. This is who this monster is. Thank you, white America, once again. Your racism has bit you in your fucking ass. Your arrogance, your narcissism racially will probably be the downfall of this nation because white America has neglected their culture and their system of white supremacy for 500 years. White, white people have. We've neglected it, folks. We have not a damn thing to fix it. It's still operating in every single institution. And white America has never given a fuck. White people generally have never given a fuck because they think it gives them their privilege because colonialism taught them that's their right to have these privileges. You bought into a lie, white people, and now you're reaping what you sowed. May God help us all.